what it's like to be in that country with my family in that same way. In 2012, I finally had enough money as an adult to travel to the Middle East. The borders were already closing at the time, so I could only cut as far as Lebanon, where I stood on the border and looked out at a small city in Syria. And my heart hurt because I knew I couldn't get in. But I had a little bit of hope that somehow all those cousins and uncles and aunts I've never met would somehow find a way out, would somehow find a way here. last week really tried to extinguish that little hope, but seeing all of you here today, that flame still rages on. We are still hopeful. I am so grateful for all of us being together as one. For every year that passes, people of color, descendants of immigrants and refugees come closer to being the majority in this country. When we look around right now, this is the new majority. And I'm so honored to be a part of this gathering of love and care and true family. On my wrist, I have this word written in Arabic. It says breath. And I think that everything we do in life really falls between a breath, an inhale and an exhale at the end of it. And that's what we find meaning in life. And no matter what the Trump administration might try to say about this ban, it's not about security. This is about a people's right to breathe. About our right to exist here today. I know as long as we keep fighting, there will be no walls between us. There will be no bans between us. We will pull through. I do this work and I devote my life to this for my parents, for my ancestors, and for all the mothers and fathers that fought for me to be here today. So thank you. Thank you for standing up when we're all needed. Thank you for standing up for our families, for our ancestors, for all the people who just want to come.